Hey guys, Andrea here, and I have, yep, you guessed it, another Dollar Tree haul. And I think it's a pretty good one. I stopped at Dollar Tree on my way home from work, and I found some things that I think are new, and definitely found some things that were on my wish list. So I'm really happy to finally get them checked off. So please stick around, comment below, say hi, and I hope you like this video. Uh, so where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? So many things. Okay. So we have a greenhouse in our basement. We started some vegetables and herbs from seed, organic heirloom varieties. And our little seedlings are growing up and becoming toddler seedlings. So I need, I need to transplant them into a bigger container since spring has really not sprung yet, I have a feeling it's going to be a little later for the planting season. So they're just getting too big for the pots that they're in and I need to upgrade. So Dollar Tree has these little plastic pots here. They came in a smaller size and now, like I said, we're upgrading to the next size. There are, does it say how many are in here? Once again, did not grab my glasses to put them on. It does not say how many. I think there are one, two, three. I want to say there might be 10 in each of these, but they worked really well. The smaller ones, they have drainage holes at the bottom. So they've really just done the job that I need them to do. And to go along with those, I got some of these drainage dishes. And they have three sizes, small, medium, and large. These are the smallest sizes. And in the small pack, there are six of them. In the medium pack, I believe there are four. And in the largest size they carry, I believe they are, there are three. But six of these for a dollar, that's, I think, a pretty good price. So I grabbed a few of those. That can go over there. Okay, uh, I found one candle. I think these have been around, but they have not been around at my Dollar Trees. And it is one of these nautical beachy themed, uh, I think, rose. Yeah, the rose collection. And it just says, Sea La Vie. Really cute. I didn't even bother smelling it because, yeah, okay, it says it's sea salt and sage. Yeah, I, I smell nothing, but really pretty. It matches the colors in our bathroom, so I picked one of those up. And down the candle aisle, I have not seen candle snuffers at Dollar Tree. Um, so I was like, cool, oh, they have candle snuffers. They had it in this bronze color, silver, gold, and black. So yeah, you need one of these it's for a dollar. I am good with that. So yeah, that was a new thing for me. There's me and my noises. I'm kind of jumping around here. I found some new Skunsy items. And the packaging looks different than what we've had at my Dollar Trees. But it's just some of the clips. And... Then I got these kind of clips. So, cool. Uh, makeup. They got some more e.l.f. into my Dollar Tree. This is the under eye concealer and highlighter in medium. So, try it out. See how that works. And then they had an all over cover stick in light beige and here I'll just open it up real quick I have very pale skin uh, very fair freckles you probably you might not be able to see with the makeup I have on but I do take a really light foundation color um, in winter in the summer once I get a little bit of a tan it's like light beige very very light beige but so let's see so yeah that's pretty good so 
So be on the lookout if you need some concealer. There you go. Um, okay, I have never seen, do you see that? Cover Girl. Cover, Cover Girl Kissable Moisturizing Lip Balm. It's the only one I saw. I don't know if they had any more Cover Girl, but it says for sleek and silky lips. Um, it doesn't list a color, but let me pull it out because it definitely is a color. Okay. I don't see a color here. I'll swatch it on my other hand. So it has a little bit of a tint to it. Doesn't smell fruity or anything. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. Cover girl. So cool. Um, I found the cucumber eye patches. I've been looking for these. Hopefully. They work pretty well. Around Christmas time, I actually bought some of these from Kohl's because I made up little spa gift bags for Christmas gifts. And let me tell you, they were definitely more than a dollar. So if you like things like this and you see them, you probably should pick them up because you know how Dollar Tree is. They fly off the shelf, never to be seen again. Um, and then I found some of this anti-itch ointment cream the topical and with summer coming up and mosquito bites and who knows what else um, this is anti-itch cream for poison ivy poison oak poison sumac and insects insect bites it says compare to the active ingredients in benadryl and this is made by dr sheffield so i am guessing or is that a Dollar Tree brand? No, oh, it looks like a brand. So, let's see, hopefully it works. Uh, okay, I found some hooks. And tell me if you guys have seen these. I haven't seen these. I know Dollar Tree carries all sorts of hooks. But these are removable hooks. And... I want, okay, so this one holds up to two pounds. It says ensure surface is clean and dry. Peel off the release paper. Place hook in desired location and press firmly for 30 seconds. Wait 12 hours before applying weight. To remove, firmly hold hook with one hand. Hold the tab with the other hand and slowly pull the tab vertically downward. So you know what? Dollar Tree has come up with their own type of hooks and yeah these are pretty cool so I picked up these ones and they had these ones which are holds up to three pounds these hold up to one pound and then these hold up to 0.2 pounds. But that is cool. If they work, that is a really good thing to buy at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Because they are so much more expensive in the stores. Um, okay, next. I picked up from all the new summer collection... I only picked up one thing. It's this rectangular tray with the sea turtle and the crab on it. Just thought it was really cute. They have so many. They have ones that are shaped like surfboards. They have round ones and with different creatures on them. Different themes. Just tons of stuff. And I really had to hold myself back. Hold myself back, girl. Hold yourself back. Because I do not need really any anymore but I thought this was cute it's just one so that's not bad and they're really cute couldn't resist so like oh sorry about that all right summertime 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 needs I got a pair of tongs these are 
pretty long ones and for a dollar. Um, I have ones that I've paid more for from other stores. I have some from Ikea. And quite honestly, I always go back to these cheapy ones because this goes down nice and easy. And I don't know. I just think these good old cheap ones work well. You just have to be careful and make sure you don't uh, send yourself to the hospital for stitches by cutting yourself on the inside parts. But for a dollar, cool. A silicone basting brush. It's an extra long one for barbecue needs so hopefully you know does it even say if it has a heat threshold you guys it doesn't even say if it has a limit so you might not want to baste over the heat with this which that's a bummer and then I got a set of these tong spatula combo gadgets Tong Turner. I yeah, thought that was pretty cool. For the hamburger and the hot dog. All in one. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, I got some stickers and notepads, of course. Really need to chill on that but come on you guys know how it is you go in there and they're so cute and you're like oh, do I get them do I not get them if I don't get them I'll never find it again so what happens $30 $40 later at Dollar Tree but you know what you only live once so um I found these butterfly wall decorations Thought they were really cute. Butterflies can be applied on all smooth surfaces. Walls, doors, closets, plastic, metal, and tiles. It has removable adhesive and just sticks right on. So I just thought those were really cute. Probably go in Lily's room. Again, we are going to be painting and decorating her room. Um, I found, I thought these are pretty cute. They're like jean material. I don't know if that's going to show up with the glare. And even the back of them looks like patches, iron-on patches, but they're stickers and they feel like jean material. So I just thought they were so cute. They reminded me for my 80s girls out there, um, used to have flats that were blue jean material. I want to say I had a pair in fifth grade and for whatever reason they just reminded me of those. And so nostalgia, I had to get them. I found these, there's some of the handmade stickers and I guess anything with cupcakes and ice cream on them just they're so cute and colorful and make me happy and them. And then I haven't seen these before. It's a pretty big sheet of stickers. 50 stickers to be exact. And there's some cactus on there, some daisies and what else? Butterflies, caterpillars. Yeah, thought they were cute. And then I found some more of the faith stickers. And I really, really like these. I will get a close-up so you can see some of the sayings on there. And again, I just love that Dollar Tree has some of this stuff with scripture reference. Um, I, I love that. So, yep, I have to pick up those stickers. And then a couple of magnetic notebooks that, of course, I really don't need, but... They were cute, so I had to get them. This one has fruit all over it and says enjoy the little things. And there's the magnet. 60 sheets to both of these. And then this one, how cute, stick to it. I mean, come on, little cactuses. Stick to it. Cute. Sorry about that. And then... 
Okay, wish list item. I've been on the hunt for these Crayola. Um, well, this one's a canvas creation. And the reason I got that was not for the porcupine or skunk. Or actually, it looks like, um, what was Sonic? A uh, hedgehog, which he is pretty cute. But I got it for the mushroom. I love things with mushrooms on them. So, And it does have a picture on the back to show you how... You could paint it, but I suppose you can just do wherever creativity leads you. Uh, and then I found one more canvas that I thought the picture was cute. I thought Lily would just really love that. Puppy and kitty. And then I found the sun catchers. And I mean, these are Crayola brand. I just can't believe they're at Dollar Tree. And I think they're really pretty. Butterfly. A sun. A rainbow. And I got two rainbows. One for me, one for Lily to do. And then this cute frog. So, I just want to do our sliding door. Um, I still actually have one of these types of things from when I was a kid. It was a Christmas ornament. So I just think it would be cute to paint those with Lily and put them in the sliding glass patio door and, and hang on to them. So someday when she's an adult she can take ownership of them and just have a memory. So okay I found another bag. I thought this was really cute. This is just a Greenbrier bag and Kind of that plasticky feeling material with the fuzzy feeling interior. But I just thought it was really pretty and kind of retro flower child looking. You know, just very neat. And I did find another bag, but it flew down onto the floor. So I will save that for another haul. <laughs> Okay, food products, just a couple things. I've been seeing people uh, that have bought this and used it and said that it's really good. It's saffron yellow rice. It's nine ounces. And yeah, I want to make some Spanish rice with that. Just sounds good. Or I was just hungry when I went to Dollar Tree and anything probably would have sounded good. Which leads me to the next thing I bought. They are TGI Friday Party Bites. You can see. And they are macaroni and cheese flavored. Um, like puffs. And you get three of them in the package. They're pretty decent sized bags. 1.25 ounces. So I thought we would give those a try. Okay, and I found a couple of the rugs that everyone's been hauling. I picked up a home one. And these are pretty nice. Uh, they have kind of a rubber-like backing. And then I just got... This one says welcome, and this one's really pretty thick. I don't know if you can see that. But this one does not have a rubber backing. It's a felt type of backing. But it's, like I said, it's pretty thick. So I'll probably just use this for the front porch and for a dollar. So what if it's nasty by the end of summer? Just throw it out. And, okay, last things that I have are a ton of books. So, I'm not going to read the descriptions. Um, sorry about the noise. I'll start with just a few kids' books that I picked up. This first one, it says it's Bruce Springsteen and Frank Caruso, Outlaw Pete sounded interesting 
I'm honestly, I'm not a big fan of Bruce Springsteen. Actually, I'm not a little fan of Bruce Springsteen either. But it looks like a really nice quality book. I don't see. Oh, yeah. 1999 is what this originally sold for. So I'll hang on to this. And I like having things like that to put with a gift if I need to put a gift together last minute. So, cool, for a dollar. These I got for Lily, sounded like books that she would enjoy. Billy Sure Kid Entrepreneur. Billy Sure Kid Entrepreneur or Billy Sure Secret Agent. Shred the documents, crack the code. And it's kind of big writing. Sounded cute. And then this one, Cart Boy Goes to Camp. And let's see. Again. Wait, what was that? I could have swear I just saw, like. Oh, I did. I'm like, did I just see a thong, a butt? Okay, I'm going to have to just look through this and make sure. I, I We're careful about what Lily's allowed to read and look at, and I just want to make sure that it's appropriate. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, okay. Try to go in some kind of order here. But... I found some cookbooks, the Prairie Table Cookbook. I'll just give a quick glance through that. And in a snap, tasty southern recipes. And you can see what the sales price was up here. It's a pretty thick book. Try to land on a picture. Okay. Cooking in everyday English. This is a hardcover book. The ABCs of Great Flavor at Home by Todd English. $29.95 originally price. So this, this is a really nice cookbook. I love cookbooks. I'm obsessed with collecting cookbooks. And Dollar Tree is the best place to find cookbooks because they are only a dollar. Um, I got this book here, A Beautiful Mess, a photo idea book. My sister is a photographer. And I thought maybe this would be a good book. To give her so sis if you're watching let me know if you think you want this and you can have it it was regularly priced $17.99 found this survival the emergency bag essentials and it flips out like this and they are like little cards with different tips and tricks on there. So, and it has this band that goes around it. I thought that was pretty cool. The memory tree. Like I said, I'm not going to read descriptions. Read bottom up. This one it sounded pretty interesting. It's the um, comment on it says it's rare to pick up a book that perfectly captures love in the digital age, but that's exactly what Neil Shaw and Sky Chapman's all too realistic novel succeeds in doing. So 
time it's fine. And that was it for books. And then last but not least, I found some new adult coloring books. Well, actually one of them has been on my wish list. And this is that uh, Southern Living adult book, Celebration Cakes. And inside there's recipes and pictures of the cake. And I just thought that was really cute, really different. So finally found that. And I found Wuthering Heights. I love Wuthering Heights. I love the original movie. And I love reading the book. And inside it has lines from the book. I just love that book. Heathcliff, Heathcliff and Catherine and just so romantic and beautiful and then the last one that I found is Alice in Wonderland this was regularly regularly priced $13.95 you guys I'm sorry I'm bad at this book flipping maybe I'll get better with practice but really pretty That's a little better. Good job. Good job. But yeah, and I got two of these. One of these will end up in a future giveaway. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I have new videos and when there will be a giveaway coming up. Thank you for hanging out with me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.